a film in three minutes, Theatre of Blood. Friends, subscribers, lend me your ears, for now is the winter of our discontent. All the world's a stage, and us men and women merely players. We have our exits and our entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Or to put it another way, we're all about to witness a very underappreciated actor's hellbent quest for revenge in the British horror comedy Theatre of Blood. Released in 1973 and starring the macabre Prince of Darkness Vincent Price, the story follows the talented, if slightly demented and deeply narcissistic actor Edward Lionheart, who, after having his career lambasted and derided for years by prominent critics, hatches a dark scheme to murder each one, utilising his acting abilities to their fullest extent by disguising himself in multiple costumes and then killing each critic with a method inspired from eight different plays penned by Shakespeare. The film was considered by Price as well as by fellow co-star Diana Rigg to be the best film of their careers, but for Price, the role of Lionheart also offered him a long-desired opportunity to perform Shakespeare, after having found himself frustratingly typecast from his previous work in horror films. As such, Price is spellbinding in his role as the campy deluded actor, whose gruesome murders of his critics in the guise of his many varied alter egos choose the scenery with glee. His near constant monologues are delivered with a menacing charm that only an actor whose presence was as unique as Price's could pull off without losing the comedy behind the violence. As was typical for the time, many of the film's more grisly sequences are shot in a mercilessly brutal fashion, with the horrifying fates of the critics shocking even by today's standards. But the supporting cast, which included many British stars from the period, play their roles as the foppish, overbearing and vain critics with relish. The director, Douglas Hickox, refrained from constructing any sets for the film and instead makes fantastic use of real locations in London, including the now sadly demolished Putney Hippodrome, which serves as Lionheart's base. The splendid use of a gymnasium for a fencing match or a wine cellar for one of the critics' murders is given extra theatrical oomph thanks to the score composed by Michael J. Lewis, whose orchestral melodies are as beautiful as they are mischievously evil. More's the pity that we never got to see Price do a film adaptation or play of a full Shakespeare production, but in Theatre of Blood, the actor was able to tap into some of the Bard's most beloved works and mix in his own dark character to create one of his most iconic, if ironically less well-known roles. Disdaining fortune with his brandish steel which smoked with bloody execution, Price gives one of the greatest performances of his career, delivering the Bard's prose with a sinister wit and hilarious malice that makes this film stand a cut above other horror films from the time. Just please don't ask Lionheart for an encore, you may live to to regret it, or not live at all.